Hello, this Presser Cat is here and coffee is damn amazing and welcome to a random uh, Wednesday and as you can hear my throat is not the best I believe since it got warm and all in Sweden it's like 25 degrees almost 30 degrees or 30 celsius I don't know and um, my allergy has kicked in it's just itching in my throat and yeah as you can hear it was even worse in the morning but oh well here we go uh, this is a random battle I'm sorry uh, for my voice of course uh, but I, don't, I need to go at the wedding as well in the uh, what is it called in the week weekend so and I want to do this audio recording uh, now so I don't and I have a uh, exam to do as well next week so uh, Krogant and uh, yeah kind of annoying there I wonder did it no I was slower anyway so it was like uh, well you died the, I believe the freaking uh, legendaries here uh, yeah sometimes legendaries are very useful but I, de I decided I am when I do random battles I try to uh, re uh, record or yeah the, those who are kind of interesting and uh, yeah ask the hyper voice man it does so much I believe it's because it's musician thing <laughs> Meloetta whatever is pretty high special attack I believe it has and Dixie speed only at speed as it tells <laughs> Fergus uh, psychic yeah Fergus is a B especially defensively I'm not surprised that that did nothing I should probably have switched but oh well uh, here knocked out at least we get the toxic up uh, Fergus is kind of defensively I don't know, did I stay in with Nocturne? Maybe I did. Oh, Magic Coke. Yeah, I thought it was some other thing. Uh, it hit to your back. Uh, I can't remember what that this tech is got. Uh, yeah, uh, that freaking Wobbuffet has. It counters back a yeah, special attack, but unfortunately that was not the attack. Sometimes you really mix together those attacks. So yeah. Uh, here Nido King Ice Beam takes out this Forgus finally. Very nice. And uh, Nido King. I decide to switch, of course, because yeah, else I will die of Ice Beam or whatever. But he decides to go for Outrage. Is doesn't do anything. I toxic this Curum. Uh, yeah, I believe Articuno was really useful here still. I decided to substitute, I don't know why. And maybe to save some time here. Did I even lose this? Maybe I did even lose this. I cannot even remember. Oh, Ice Beam. Or maybe I was... I, oh, yeah, I was probably lucky with the confusion here. Confusion and Toxic. Very nice. Ice Beam and it's still neutral since Curum is uh, part Dragon type here. It's very nice. Meganium. I don't know why he sends out a Grass type if he wants to wanted to save uh, his uh, Gengar for last. So that was kind of why do you send out a Grass type against a uh, Flying Ice uh, Legendary? It makes no sense at all. And then he just decided to forfeit, unfortunately. But yeah, we have another battle here again. So it was a get great uh, comeback there. And very nice here, because this is a Mega Gengar, I believe. So it's Mega Evolves there. Very nice, Focus Blast. I believe I did not have anyone with any fire atta attack. Uh, if I ha would have had that, it would probably have one shot instead, but oh well. So that was kind of annoying since I had two Pokemon that could like be easily take down but by fire attacks. But no, 
but uh, Focus Blast actually does decent here uh, still, so it's very nice. And uh, I decided to go uh, alternate between uh, Shadow Ball and Focus Blast because I am not. I. What to say it? I don't. Uh, I'm not very. I mean, Focus Blast, I believe it has. A, not the best of accuracy, so that's kind of annoying, so it might miss, that is why, and Gengar still has very good special attack, and Shadow Ball has stab, of course, so it's kind of decent. I don't know, why do you go for Valwis when I have like 7 HP left, so I just decided yeah, to, yeah, die, or try to do the most here. Pangur comes in, eh... Uh, you well with Pangura, which is very annoying since Pangura, I believe, is a physical attacker. And Megahorn, which was kind of. Ugh, well. I at least circle throw Rapidash out, so it's not no longer in the battle, so very nice so far. Uh, Hydro Pump hits, and Pangura is out. Uh, guess what? Why not? Uh, why just not stay in? Because whatever since he was anyway burned and I did not have any heal barreler on the team Toxicroak I decided to switch here into my only legendary uh, which was Cresselia very nice and Cresselia take the sucker punch like it's nothing psychic Toxicroak four times effectiveness <coughs> Sakuram not too fun, but here I just decided to stall or whatever. Very nice. Cresselia, so much uh, defensive, especially special or uh, special defense, so it's not really a problem of taking this Sakuram. You see, the outrage here does nothing. And I try to toxic it, and of course I miss like two times, it's like silly. I moonlight up again, very nice to have that as well. Uh, outrage, the Sacrum gets confused, very nice, and uh, toxic, and uh, doesn't do very much still. <laughs> so I set up a light screen if Cresselia would uh, die, and uh, as well just to be safe, because uh, Sacrum has still a lot of uh, attack or whatever. And Volt Switch does even less, which is very nice, and Arius decides to go on the attacking side because uh, why not? I don't want to be a butt munch and just heal stall all the time. So here I just psychic that uh, Sekrum out and wins the battle. So very nice, two uh, very interesting uh, uh, random battles and cool teams. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a good uh, espresso, a good tea day, and I'll see you soon again. So bye!